Please remember that the registry editor is a tool, not a toy. It can cause damage to your system if not properly used. So please don't go fiddling with anything that isn't directly mentioned in this video. We don't want people bricking their computers. Just by is Steam installing it to the wrong directory in the uh, registry. So what we're gonna do first here is we're gonna try to go to game settings to show you that we can't access it because it is apparently not properly installed which I suppose is technically true. So we're gonna try to run the game and demonstrate that it is indeed in French. I should note that I am not currently running my uh, FPS or widescreen fixes uh, from that all-in-one from another video. This is a clean install, and as you can tell, Fen is speaking in French. So I'm just going to Alt F4 here. And now we get to hit Windows key plus R, which will open this little run dialog menu. I will go to RegEdit, which is the registry editor, and within here, we're going to want to go to Computer, H key Local Machine, Software, WoW 6432 node, and as you can see, there's a WoW 6432 node within this one, and that right there is the problem. This is not supposed to be here. So what we can do to fix that is we can simply export the Unconnable give it any name, I'm just going to call it temp, we can edit it, we can remove the wow 6432 node here, the one in the lower case, we can save it, close out of that, double click that, accept the prompt, hit yes, ok, and now it is installed where it's supposed to be. You don't really need to worry about this one. It should be fine. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to close the registry here. I'm going to demonstrate that we can, in fact, now reach the game settings. It will tell us the graphics dri drivers aren't up to date, but honestly, the game released way back when it has no clue what is running in most modern systems, so that's entirely fine. Uh, so, here we have our settings, we have full access to it, we can hit play. It's going to give us a little warning again, but that's entirely fine. And now we will have yet another word from our boy Fen. And there you have it. The game is now in English. Now, should you choose to do so, you can open up the game's directory and install our uh, all-in-one here that I just so happen to have here. We can drag this in. And now, just for me, I'm going to edit this I and I, switch this here to false, switch this to true, you do not need to do this. Uh, I will also link to the uh, widescreen and FPS fix video in the description of this. So I'll just hit Control S to save. Okay. Now, uh, there is a slight issue here. For whatever reason, Steam doesn't like to run Beyond Good and Evil anymore from here. As you can see, oh well, it's going to make me a liar. But as I was saying, sometimes Steam won't run straight from steam you can however just open the game through the uh, game settings uh, settings application and I am now noticing that I forgot to uh, <laughs> remove uh, enbpallet.bmp that just gets rid of the red shifting as you can see here uh, so if it doesn't uh, start through this option you can go to game settings let it yell at you, hit play, yes. And here we go, it's no longer redshifted, it's no longer in French. I hope this helps you, I know it 
works for me. However, that does not mean it will work for everyone. Uh, let me know of any issues you encounter along the way. And remember that the registry editor is a tool, not a toy. It can cause damage to your system if not properly used. So please don't go fiddling with anything that isn't directly mentioned in this video. We don't want people bricking their computers just because they got a little bit bored while some internet person was rambling away. You know? Speaking of rambling away, that's all from me. Have a good one. I'll catch y'all later. And, of course, stay safe out there.